Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to make a shadow catcher in Blender Cycles and Eevee. A shadow catcher is an object that catches and displays shadows in a scene without rendering the object itself. This is especially useful in compositing when you want to integrate 3D elements into footage or a background image. Let's add a 3D car model into a background image in Cycles Render Engine. I have imported this car model from the Blender Kit add-on. You can watch my tutorial on how to use the Blender Kit add-on from the link. First, click the Render Properties tab and ensure that your render engine is Cycles. Set the maximum sample value to 32 for the viewport and 128 for the render. Press the Z key to switch to Render Preview mode. Press Shift-A and add sunlight. Click the lamp icon and set the strength value to 5. We need a plane to catch the car shadow. Add a plane. S key to scale up. Select the sun and adjust the angle of the sunlight. We can increase the angle value to have a smoother shadow. Select the yellowish color for the sun. All right. What we're going to do is simply render the car and its shadow and overlay it onto another image. To do that, select the plane, click the Object Properties tab, open up the Visibility panel, and enable the Shadow Catcher. So we can only render shadows and reflections on the plane. We can also see the reflection of the plane on the car's surface, because the car has reflective material. If you want to disable the reflection, uncheck the Glossy option under the Ray Visibility. That's it. You can also disable the diffuse option so that the color of the plane doesn't reflect on the car. To understand this, let's add a material for the plane. Enable the diffuse option. Go to the Material Properties tab and click the button to add a material. When we change the base color of the plane, we can see how the lights reflect on the surface indirectly. However, it would be more realistic if you give a material like the ground in your image. I want to use a road image like this, so we can create an asphalt material for the plane. First, go to the Object Properties tab and enable the Diffuse and Glossy options again. Disable the Shadow Catcher for now. Search for Asphalt Material in the Blender Kit add-on. Drag and drop the material onto the plane. That's it. Enable the Shadow Catcher again. Now the reflections on the car's surface will be more compatible with the image. All right, let's add a camera to get the render. Find a nice viewpoint. Press Ctrl Alt Numpad 0 to align the camera to the view. Press the G key, then press the mouse wheel and drag the mouse. Press F12 to render the image. As you can see, the world background looks gray color. We want the background to be transparent to overlay this render with the image. Close the render window and go to the Render Properties tab. Scroll down to the Film panel and enable the Transparent option. Press F12 to render the image again. There we go. However, we need to determine the angle of the shadow to be compatible with the image. Select the camera and go to the Camera Properties tab. Go to the Background Images panel and enable it. Open the image. Set the Opacity value up to 1. Select the empty object. Hit the S key to scale and R key to rotate the car so that fits the image. You can also move the car wherever you want. Press the G key, then shift Z key. So you can move the car on the X and Y plane, except the Z axis. However, the shadow of the car points in the wrong direction. As you can see, the tree and grass point in opposite directions in the image. To fix this, select the sun and change the shadow direction. You can also adjust the length of the shadow so that fits the image. That's it. Alright, 
it's time to composite the images each other. Before compositing, press F12 to render the image. Close the render window and click the compositing tab. Enable the Use Node option so we can display the nodes. There are two nodes here, the render layer we have just got and the composite node. To preview the final result in the viewport, let's add a viewer node. Plug the image node into the image node. Click the View tab and set the zoom value to fit the image. Now, let's open the image. Add an image node, click the Open button and open the image. We need to overlay these two images, so add an Alpha Over node. Plug the image node into the first socket. Plug the render layer into the second socket. Plug the output color into both composite and viewer nodes. There we go. You can also add a hue saturation value node to change the color of the car. If you are happy with the result, press F12 to render the final image. That's it. It looks fine. All right, it's easy to make a shadow catcher in Cycles. What if we want to make a shadow catcher in the EV Render Engine? Let's switch to the EV Render Engine. As you can see, the shadow catcher feature doesn't work with EV. We need to make a transparent material in EV. Split the viewport window into two. Switch the right window to the shader editor. Select the plane and delete the asphalt material. Click the new button to add a material. Delete the principled shader and add a diffuse shader. Add a transparent shader. I just want to make it a transparent material except for the shadow area, so we need to mix both shaders. Add a mix shader node Plug the shader into the mix shader. Plug the mix shader into the material output. If we slide the factor value up to 1, the material becomes a full diffuse shader. If we slide the factor value down to 0, it becomes fully transparent. However, the material doesn't look transparent. It's because we need to make transparent material settings in Eevee. If you want, you can watch the tutorial on how to make transparent material in Cycles and Eevee from the link. First, scroll down to the Film panel and ensure that the Transparent option is enabled. Then, click the Material Properties tab, open up the Settings panel, and switch the Blend Mode to the Alpha Blend. That's it. However, the plane is fully transparent now. We need to convert the shadow data into the mask to make it transparent except for the shadow area. Add another Diffuse Shader. Add a shader to RGB node. Plug the shader into the shader node and the color node into the factor node. As you can see, it works. However, we need to invert the transparent area. Let's change the mix shader's inputs. Select the black color in the diffuse shader also. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.